Welcome to Your Source TV. I'm Tamara Stutchlack, and in this segment, we discover a valuable medical device and very cool video gaming invention. With us is M.G. Howard with Light Glove. She's the CEO, and also Bruce Howard, the inventor. So welcome, both of you. You're a dynamic husband and wife team. You've just come back from the 2008 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas and taken top honors, mm -hmm. uh, beating out Logitech and Dell. Bruce, tell us about your invention. What is it? How does it work? Light Glove is a new uh, input device. It senses the hand with invisible infrared light. So it, it senses the shape of the hand and, and detects buttons, finger buttons, just as though there's a physical device beneath your hand. How did you come about inventing this? I, I understand that uh, your mother had some carpal tunnel challenges and that was part of the inspiration for this. Yes, she did. She, from using a computer mouse, developed carpal tunnel, a very bad case of it, as, as a matter of fact. And I knew there had to be a better way. So instead of uh, forcing the user to go to an, a physical interface device, we brought the interface to the user. And uh, because it senses the shape of the hand dynamically, uh, it, it is comfortable for all users of any hand shape or size. Right. Had you been involved in electronics inventions and is this something that you had always been doing or? Well, I'm an electrical engineer and I have a background in radio design and uh, so I had the technology uh, well positioned to go ahead and develop something like this. Uh, but there's nothing quite like creating an invention. And uh, th that's the, the creative aspect to this that I really relish the most. In MG, there's so many valuable medical uses for this and people that can be helped. Um, spinal injuries, ALS, Parkinson's. Talk a little bit about that, how you see this being, um, uh, making a difference in people's lives. Well, it's actually, there's, it's a two-prong approach as far as the medical applications. Um, either the physicians can be using it because they are getting carpal tunnel going through all the different uh, drawings and things like from the MRI machines and also to reduce germ transmission in the hospitals. So um, like keyboards and mouse, there's a lot of, you know, germs that get uh, transferred around. So um, it would help with that. But then also um, the aspect that Bruce came up with it to help the patients um, and people with assistive technology issues that um, don't have full functionality of their hands, but they want to interface with computers. So, um, for instance, we had a woman with ALS um, named Gail Rupertus, and um, she was able, she, she barely had any motion in her finger. And she so you're able, also wearing the device. Both of yes. you have, have the device on. <laughs> right. And um, she, she barely had any motion in her finger, and yet she was able to turn on a light, which t to some people they're like, well, who cares about that? But to somebody like her, um, she would be able to communicate longer, um, you know, because usually when you have ALS, you have very small amounts of motion. Um, so things like that um, mean a lot. Um, also for soldiers coming home that um, have, you know, difficulty moving their hands and stuff. Um, we'd love to have these at all the Fisher House and Walter Reed and um, just to help people um, in a rehabilitative process also. So this device can be used to manipulate as a cursor any electronics. Bruce, talk Absolutely. a little bit more about that because there's so many uses even just in this medical field. Well, because it's a virtual controller, uh, we can switch in between modes uh, with a simple gesture. So we could be a wireless mouse, we can be an on-screen keyboard, uh, we, can, we can play games obviously with it, uh, and it's because it's comfortable and ergonomic, it, it allows users to change hand position over the course of, of use. So it's, it's uh, uh, comfortable and, and relaxing to use. Is it difficult to learn? No, it's not. It's just as though there's a physical device beneath your hand. If you drop a finger down, you can hit a button. If you hold it down, uh, you can move the cursor around with your hand motion. So it's very intuitive. It's designed to be uh, just as though there's a physical de device beneath your hand. Again, let's get a little bit back into how it works and its design. Just a little bit back into that since it's a new technology, a new invention, a disruptive technology. Talk a little bit about that. That's the exciting thing. It, with a simple set of uh, LEDs, it issues narrow beams out and looks for a reflection back. So it directly 
draws a shape map of the hand. It draws the shape of the hand and tracks it in real time. So anywhere within the field, comfortable field of motion, uh, it's detecting your hand for buttons or for cursor pointing. It also tracks hand motion with accelerometers and gyroscopes to uh, enable cursor motion or uh, cursor control. And I want to add one thing so that people understand what he actually did that was so revolutionary. Um, there used to be, it was called optical beam interruption. And so when you would put something in the middle there, you'd have to have electronics on both sides. And so when you put something in, the, the sensor over here would go, oh, I know there's a finger there because it's not Two-way communication. Two-way. So what he realized is, well, if you put both everything on one place, you would not need electronics on both sides. And it would just bounce off of it and back. It's called optical beam reflectance. reflectance. So it's reflecting back rather than interrupting. So that was the huge aha moment. <laughs> and because it issues its own lights, it doesn't, it, it's uh, not dependent upon ambient lighting. Or cameras pointing at you right. or anything like that. So it's kind Travels of... Travels with the hand. Right. So many of the limitations of the past devices and technology have been completely eliminated. Absolutely. Right. That's why we're disruptive and um, our competitors you know, would prefer that we don't succeed. So, um, but and most people would have given up by now because we've It brings, brings hung a control back to the user's hands, so the hands are free to be in a comfortable position to change over the course of use, and uh, uh, it travels with the user. So as we do ordinary day-to-day -day things like uh, rifling papers or drinking coffee or what have you, you don't have to let go of the control device.